Hey guys, it's BNB, and then you are doing a tutorial in which I will show you how to use two ultrasonic sensors connected to your Arduino board. I posted a video on how to add ultrasonic sensor to Proteus and how to use it, but this time we will work with real sensors and a real Arduino board, so let's get started. Here is a description of our sensor, it has four pins, I'm talking about the HCSR04 sensor. We have the VCC and GIND pins for power supply, then the grid and eco pins for signal information and I will explain the use of these pins. Also, the sensor has an ultrasonic transmitter and receiver with one oscillator to generate a 40 kHz ultrasonic sound that allows you to measure distances up to 2 meters. So first off, we have to understand how the ultrasonic sensor operates. Well, it's so simple, based on the transmission of an ultrasonic wave and detect its reflection through an object to identify the distance between the sensor and this object. So we need to generate an ultrasonic wave by creating a 10 microsecond pulse and measure the duration taken by that pulse to reach the object then bounce back. But to identify the distance, we should follow this algorithm. Do not forget that the measured duration is proportional to the double of the desired distance. This is why we should divide that duration by 2, then divide it again by 29.1, which is the speed of our wave. Now we will identify the components that we will use in this tutorial. So we need an Arduino board. In this project, I use an Arduino Mega, but you can use whatever Arduino you want. Two ultrasonic sensors, HCSR04 one breadboard, two LEDs with 330 ohm resistors, and some jumper wires. I provided an order link in the description of this video for all the components that I used. Now let's take a closer look at our sensor. We have four pins here. The first one is the ground pin, then we have the echo pin. We will read the reflection signal from it and the trick pin from where we will transmit the ultrasonic wave and the last pin is VCC where we should provide 5V to turn on the sensor. Now let's prepare the following circuit. I used Fritzing to make it clear for you guys. Do not forget that we will use the digital pins only so just place your connectors wherever you want in your Arduino board. Now let's move to the source code. So run the Arduino IDE, as usual you can download this code from the link that I provided in the description of this video. As you can see the code is so short and well commented, actually no much details in it. We will measure the distances between the sensors and the objects, then display the measured distances on the serial monitor. Then make a test on these distances, if it is less than 10 cm we will turn on the LED or turn it off in the opposite case. Above measuring the distance, I create this function that takes two parameters which are the trig pin and the echo pin, then we generate the pulse through the trig pin and measure the propagation time of that pulse through the echo pin using the pulse in API. Now everything is ready, just upload the code and start the test by moving these two objects. And as you can see here in the serial monitor, the distances change depending on the object position. And when we exceed 10 centimeters, the LED turn off. That's it guys for today, do not hesitate to ask questions through comments and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day, it was BNB from Megadas, see you next time.